future will be allowed one twenty words every day to say and need to get through all our routine exchange with an eye on work count. Hey guys, welcome back to the Woolen Homestead. This is a video podcast about knitting, spinning, and hand dyeing yarn. My name is Tiffany. And I'm Ethan. And we're coming to you from Midland, Michigan. You can find us on various social media as The Woolen Homestead, as well as the yarn that we dye at thewoolenhomestead.etsy.com. You'll also find links below in the description box to all the places you can find us. Hello everyone, welcome back. It's been about two weeks since we were here. And um, yeah, we're happy to be back. This is episode 69. And yeah, let's see, what do we, oh, we should start off with what we're wearing, because this is the first time we've had knitwear in a while. Yeah, time, well, so. because it's finally fall. It's fall finally. officially, and <clears throat> it's like 50 degrees outside. We've got yeah. the window open. It's beautiful. Yes. We managed to keep the window open all night last night. Yep, air conditioning and is Air conditioner out. is completely out of the window because we do not have central air. Yep. And so it's great. We can wake up to the birds singing and yes. sleep. It's like... 60 degrees in the bedroom now. It's yeah, it's really nice. Perfect. It's wonderful sleeping uh, weather. <laughs> so anyway, for what we're wearing. Yeah, I am wearing the On the Spice Market shawl by Melanie Berg. I'll take this off and show it. Make sure I don't hit the candle. <laughs> and um, this was from a, this is a gradient set that um, we got from Miss Babs. And it's the Perseus gradient. And then the gray is um, Cascade Heritage Yarns in the I don't remember what colorway but it's just a gray so yeah that's by Melanie Berg I love this shawl it's really fun super easy to wear and yeah so what are you wearing hun I'm wearing a sock head hat yes um and you made this for me I did a long time ago a long time ago out of what woolies no uh it is wool like, wool -like from wool -like. Michaels yeah yeah um and it's it's held up for a long time. Yeah, I, I use it for everything. I think I was still working on it when I started the podcast. It's, uh, so it's over. Yeah, you can see it's it's seen some love. It's, some it's got a little bit, a little bit of pilling there, and but I don't even care. It's a it's a good work hat. I um, I use you it all the time. A lot. I do. Well, the great thing about it is that it's so thin since the sock weight, and it's mm -hmm. like really fine sock weight. It is. So it's very thin. What's really nice about it is I can hear when people are talking. You ever wear like a really thick hat around, and it, like wool doesn't necessarily make you too hot, but if it's really thick, you can't hear anybody talking. Yeah. And so I use this especially a lot in school because I went to Delta College and um, in Saginaw, and they always were notorious for not using their heating yes. systems properly. Oh, so cold it was there. always cold. And so you'd have this dilemma where you had to be warm, but you also had to be able to hear your yeah. professor. And so and it was, in, like, it was the, like the perfect gear. combination. Yeah. yeah. So I, I could hear and I could, uh, and I could stay warm. So. Yeah. Cool. So yeah, that is what we're wearing. Um, we'll get into knit alongs real quick. Um, we have two knit alongs going on right now. We have the basket of mittens cal goes until December 31st of this year. It's co-hosted with Carrie, who is my wool mitten on Instagram and has the Serenity Farms blog. And the hashtag is basket of mittens cal 2018. Works in progress are allowed. <laughs> and um, also crochet is allowed. <laughs> And um, okay, side note: Do you not say pound sign anymore? Because like when I see when I oh see the pound gosh. sign, I think hashtag now. It's so so bad. Oh, <laughs> only because I do a lot of updating for the images on Instagram, yeah. and so it's always hashtag this hashtag. Yeah. But if so I see funny. it, if I see it on a like a phone. Yeah. On a phone pad. So I guess it's both. If I see it on a phone pad, I think pound sign. Do you? Okay. If I see it on Instagram, I think hashtag. Or like it when you see it, using. do you read hashtag blah, 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 blah. Like only if that. it's associated with. Like um, on Instagram Only or if it's Only if it's associated with letters. Yeah. If it's if it's numeric, entirely then numeric, it's then it's pound sign. Yeah. I got you. Yeah. Um, so yeah, random tangent. But uh, um, it's kind of our thing. It is. Yeah. <laughs> um, also, any type of mitten or glove or fingerless mitt is eligible. And then um, you get double entries if you use the Woolen Homestead yarn. So you just post your picture twice in the finished objects thread. And yeah, that is it for the mitten cal information. So one of the other knit alongs we have going on is the My Favorite Color is October Cal. And in this knit along, what we are doing is anything that you feel is fall related counts for this knit along. So it's very, very open. So it could be shawls, sweaters, hats, gloves, 
mittens, anything like that. Um, it could be a fall colorway of the yarn you're using, a fall type pattern, whatever you deem fall. And um, works in progress are allowed, as well as crochet is allowed. And then um, the hashtag is my fave color is October Cal 2018. And you can find all of the hashtags and show notes and things like that all in the description box below. And um, yeah, double entries for using the Woolen Homestead yarn. And you also get triple entries if you use our my favorite color is October colorway. So yeah, um, I think that's all I've got to say about the my favorite color is October Cal. It runs until um, October 31st. So yay! Exciting. And oh, if you guys hear any ambient noise, sorry about that. We got the window open today. Yes. So yep. it's beautiful out. It's like in the mid 50s. Yeah, and, and sometimes our dogs start barking too. Yeah. So excuse that. <laughs> See, I'll bet you. <laughs> case in point. All right. Right. So I also wanted to share um, some of the prizes that are going to be for the My Favorite Color is October um, Cal Knit Along. So um, we do have some other um, like pattern prizes that we'll be showing, um, but for now, this is what we've got for some physical prizes. So, oh my gosh, I love these. So these were a couple little pumpkins that, um, they're little stitch markers that um, Mary of Crafty Toots, she had sent this to me. So there's, let's see, four of them in here. Oh, and how cool is that? I know, aren't these cute? We had done a swap way back, I wanna say in the spring it was, and, um, she makes these little pumpkins and she sent me these as a prize and so I said I know what I'm using those for so I wanted to save them for the for the fall knit along so yeah so I love these I think they're super cute so that'll be a prize and then we've also got this bag from Kim at Chasing Acorns um she gave us this um when we were at the Michigan Fiber Festival so it's got these little sleeping foxes on it and oh my word it's so cute so it's got the nice little handle a little carabiner and then it's a drawstring. And then another really neat feature is on the bottom, um, she has it where it's it's pinned up like this on the bottom, or you can just unsnap right here. Oh, that's neat. And it makes a like a square bottom. So yeah, it's really, really cool. That's a really neat idea. Yeah, I know it. So yeah, I really, really, really love her work. What does she got these. on the inside as far as? Let's see, it looks oh, like it's, it's like a, a hot pink. Yeah, pink fabric that kind of goes with it. So, cool. super cute. Love it. Thank you, Miss Kim, for donating yeah, this. Yeah, thank you, Kim. And, um, yeah, that'll be part of the My Favorite Colors October Cal prizes. And then we've got from Miss Stacy at Pot of Coffee Knits. And um, here's her tag. And Stacy does, now I believe she does, mostly natural dyeing, doesn't yes. she? Yes. Oh my gosh. So she's on Etsy and I just, I love these. Um, this one is naturally dyed. This one is dyed with um, professional acid dyes, but this was dyed with onion skins. <laughs> it's just this beautiful How vibrant How cool yellow. is it that you can do that with onion skins? It's amazing. So cool. So yeah, love that. And then this is her, let's see, awakening colorway. And it's just these really, really pretty blues and greens and yellows. So very very beautiful so i just i feel like these just pair well together so i think those should be given as they a prize together awesome together yeah it'd just be a really pretty shawl i think and they're so so soft it's not even funny how soft they it's are 75 25 is what, what you i said. believe so yes that yeah, one they are very and yep yes yep so very very pretty thank you miss stacy for that and yeah so those are some of the prizes that will be in the my favorite color is october knit along Okay, so next up is events, and we are going to the Ann Arbor Fiber Expo, we found that out. That we are. So that is very exciting. Um, we are just going as attendees, not to vend. No. Um, no. And that is October 27th when we're going. That's the Saturday. I don't know exactly which what the specific dates are, but um, they've got a website. And there's our dogs again. <laughs> um, but yeah, so we'll be there that Saturday shopping, and we can't wait. Yeah, definitely. All right, and the other thing I put under events, which isn't really an event, but it's a, well, it's an event happening online. How about that? Um, <laughs> what it is, is Amy of Noble Character Crafts. She has a podcast and she has a um, an Etsy shop. She um, is hosting a mini skein advent swap and I signed up for it and I'm 
so excited. I'm so excited. So it's 20, 24 mini skeins and then um, a 100 gram skein at the end and then you send like little treats and stuff. So sign us for that are until the end of September. So if you want to join in on that, um, go check out her Ravelry group. That's where the signups are at and um, you can join in. So yay, so excited. All right, next up is finished objects. You have a finished object this week. I do. So I knitted uh, the burrow hat. Yay, and this was not even a work in progress last time. No, it wasn't. I, <laughs> this is by Amanda Cole. Yes. And um, yeah, it's got this really cool basket weave pattern here. And um, yeah, I just, I knitted it up into, into a, a beanie. <clears throat> More because when I look, when I was looking at the pattern and I started knitting the pattern up, you've got a chart that you follow and um, if I would have followed the chart uh, a few more times, I, I would have been a much longer hat. And so I wanted something that I would be able to just kind of slip on my head. It would just kind of sit like yeah. that. And so basically what I did was just um, I left out the last run through the chart basically. Yeah. And then um, and then a few rows um, ahead of that. I think like as four well. rows ahead four of rows. that. Yeah. I think it was like 20 rows in total yeah. that I ended up cutting out mainly because I didn't want to I didn't I was looking to, to knit a slouchy but I love the pattern yeah so that gives you an idea of what the pattern would look like um, if you follow and this was the large size yeah. so if you follow the large if you were to if you were to knit the, the pattern follow the large as per the pattern it would be a lot longer than this but um, but the 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 hat itself man is so cool and the pattern was really really easy to follow yep and I just love this uh, I just love this like that texture. This texture. Yeah, it's it's really cool. It's a really cool basket weave effect. And um yeah, it's it's it was really neat. And this is out of um Spirit Trail Fiberworks. Um this is 1.0 Cormo. And it's uh it's on Cormo. I was really surprised actually how yeah. how well that turned out um with the Cormo because it's really it's, cool. it's kind of a sticky yarn when you go to knit it and I don't know whether it was just because I was using brand new needles and they were wood um, but it <laughs> it was it was kind of sticky um, and I'm not really a tight knitter or anything no, you're not. and it did kind of loosen up a little bit towards the end but I had to loosen up my gauge just a little bit with the with the Cormo just because it was it was kind of giving me a hard time pulling um, through the needles but you know it, it wasn't an issue at all but but the cool thing is by the time you come out with the hat the cormo makes a really like hearty yeah it's really it feels really durable really sturdy but it's also pretty soft it it's is, not yeah. itchy no. in the slightest so it i'm, I'm have a really elastic feel to it at all yeah i'm a really big fan of the base i'll have to knit with that breed again at some point yeah. um and the the um the colorway turned out really well. I mean, there's yeah. no, no real pooling or anything like that. And it's, it's really cool. Um, it's, it's yeah. the perfect color for you. Oh, yeah, exactly. It's going to go great. I mean, anywhere. And it goes with about anything because it's this nice, settled Yeah, because you've been wearing it. Like, it's been like a daily hat for you. It has. And that's the other thing. It doesn't really stretch out, mm -mm. which is really cool. This is, I mean, my head has kind of blocked it because I was out in the rain all day the other day with it. But, um... <laughs> But it hasn't stretched out whatsoever. And this is uh, non-superwash, I think, isn't it? I believe so, yeah. Yeah, and it, yeah, it didn't stretch out at all. I mean, normally um, with some hats, especially like 100% merino, I feel like, they, mm -hmm. they tend to and have a tendency, wash. and superwash, they have a tendency to just kind of stretch right out. And it's no big deal. You just wash them and block them again, right. and it's all good. But this has been really nice because I've been able to wear it for days on end and not, yeah. not have to worry about it getting really loose on my head. Um, and yeah, it's been it's been really cool. Yay. As far as the needles I was using, I used uh, Knit Picks Caspian, um, which I'll show in a minute. We got from Aaron um, from uh, Knitting Envy, but it's it's they were really cool. I really enjoyed knitting with them. Uh, it's my first like full set of knitting needles. I've got like knitting needles here and there, but. Yeah. Um, but other than that, yeah, it was, uh, I ended up having to do magic loop because the pattern calls for a 16 inch needle, if I remember correctly, and I didn't have a 16 inch, so. But yeah, worked out really well. I'm really happy with it. Yeah, 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 good job. Um, I finished a barley hat by Tin Can Knits, and that's a free pattern. Um, and I knit it for our little baby nephew, It was Zach. so cute. It was so tiny, it was just so little. Um, so I don't have it with me because we went to his birthday party 
this last weekend, um, but I do have a picture of it. And so yeah, so that's got that little garter ridge on the side and the yarn that I used, it's a Tweety yarn. Um, it's from Premier Yarns, um, and it's actually the Downton Abbey collection. Do you remember when we got that, like, forever we did. ago? It was Matthew, I think, <laughs> yes, wasn't it? Yes, Matthew, yep, it was. And, um, oh my gosh, it's an acrylic, I think it might be a acrylic wool blend. It is a wool blend. Yeah. Because I, I don't know whether we would have gotten it if it wasn't. Yeah. I think it was the reason we got it. Yeah, and, it, oh my gosh, and we, oh my gosh, we were watching Downton Abbey at the time, and I think it was during their last season, and it was just, I saw it at Meyer, and I had to have it, so... Um, it was the birch white colorway, but it's a, I really liked working with it. It was fine. It was, it was really fun. So, um, so yeah, that was gifted to him and he looks so cute in it. Oh my gosh, he looks so cute. So I can't wait to see some more pictures of him, like in his little coats and stuff. Oh, it's going to be adorable. So cute, he so. looked like a little Pinterest model. He did. He did. He, he really did. did. <laughs> so Especially cute. since he was all dressed up for his birthday and everything. Yeah. It was like, it was, it was really so cute. cute. Yeah. I loved it. So yeah, I finished that. And then I also finished the hat that I'm knitting for my aunt. So this is uh, called the escargot hat and because um, it resembles a like a snail shell and it's a cloche style hat and it is by Veronica Parsons and the yarn that I used um, the gray is uh, brown sheep lambs pride worsted and it's a gray the gray heather colorway and then the blue is um, Patton's classic wool merino and it's the new denim colorway. So this is pretty cute. I'm really excited. I was worried it was a little too big, but um, it does fit. Like it fits me when I wear. Yeah, it. it looks huge when you're holding it. Yeah. But once you put it on, it just kind of it. it works. It kind of turns into kind of a bucket hat. It's very, Sometimes yeah, very nice. It. It's. But yeah, so it does it does fit. Um, but yeah, I was just really worried about that. But yeah, I'm really excited to give this to her. I've just got a little bit of it folds up in the back a little bit but um but it's it's yeah it blocked out really nice so I'm really happy with that I cannot wait to give it to her and um yeah I'm gonna send that out in the mail to her uh, ASAP with a little care package so I'm very excited next up is works in progress yeah so um I actually have a bandana cowl by Pearl Soho on the needles right now and yes. I'm knitting them up on Indian Lake um size sevens and uh, part of the reason I'm doing that is because the pattern calls for uh, bulky weight. All I had was worsted weight. And so we're gonna see if this works. There was uh, quite a few people, we looked on Ravelry for mm -hmm. the projects, and quite a few people had actually knitted it up on worsted yeah. using this needle size. And so I think it's gonna work out just fine. It'll just fine. be smaller. It'll be a little bit smaller, but I'm really not worried. don't really care about I that. I don't care yeah. whether it comes down real far. I just want it to cover the gap between my coat and my face, you know, yeah. and my neck. So anyway, this is how it's turning out. Because this is for when you're hunting. Yes. Let's see here. I'm gonna try and get it to focus. There we go. Okay, so this is the colorway that I've got going on. This is um, this is a brand new one I dyed up last week. It's not even in the shop right now. I had initially just dyed this up for my own personal use, but we'll see we'll see whether uh, anybody has any interest in it. Um, if you guys like it, just kind of let us know. We we consider putting it in the shop. This is actually. Yeah, I think there's someone that wants wants yeah. a skein for their husband, but I yeah I thought you had said something about that. Yeah. Um, but it's it's so far it's knitting up really well. It's teaching me how to work short rows, which is yeah. awesome because uh, it's kind of the next step in my knitting education. Yeah, <laughs> um, it's cool. And you're doing great. This is what it'll look like completely knitted up. Um, as long as we can get the glare out of there. There we go. So that's what it'll look like completely knitted up. And I think it's going to knit up great and be absolutely perfect for what I'm looking for, yeah. which is just to have something to come down between my neck and my... Uh, coat. And you can also like put it up around your nose if you need to. Exactly. Yeah. So it's, yeah, it's, it's knitting up great so far. This is on, um, this is on a worsted base that we've never had in the shop. I don't know as to whether we'll bring it to the shop. I'm actually a really big fan of how it's knitting up. It's on BFL and this is 100% BFL, uh, super wash and it's a three ply. It's working really, really well. Um, I don't really have any complaints with it. One of the, my favorite types of yarns to knit with are the ones that slide really, really easily. And I, yeah. I've i heard from a couple of people that I'm kind of an anomaly there in that a lot of people that are somewhat beginners or um, starting out knitting that they like something that kind of grips the needles and doesn't slide around because they feel right. like they're going to lose stitches. And I felt like that, like within the first 
probably 15 rows of my first project, but after that, yeah. I really like something that slides. And I'm not that tight of a knitter either. No, you're not. Um, you're really not. But I really like stuff that really, I mean, and this just slides on the needle really, yeah. really well. It doesn't hang up. And part of that is the fact that these uh, Indian Lake artisan needles are just phenomenally they made. Are, they've They're, really broken in. They have so broken in. I'm telling you guys, I mean, I was never not a fan of these. I've always thought that the craftsmanship on these needles were insanely good quality. Yeah. But one of the things that I that I, I I didn't even really criticize it when we first got the needles. It was more just a talking point on them. Was sure. that they were they didn't slide super well. Um, and the guy at the booth had told us, you know, they are uh, they're walnut, and so they they won't exactly uh, slide very well with the, with the uh, yarn initially. But give it a few hundred stitches, and they'll break in just fine. Well, we had knitted two hats on them. Yep. And when I knit my classic cuff hat by Pearl Soho, um, she, you had already knitted a whole hat with them. Yeah. And then I knit that, and I still felt they were a little bit sticky. But now, and then they I are also knit this hat with it too. Yeah. And so, so yeah, it might be if like if you've got walnut needles, it might be a little while. It might yeah. be a little bit more than a hundred stitches. Right. Uh, but knit a couple of projects. They knit. It's it's completely different. Yeah. It is completely different, and they just, they hold up so well. Um, I'm a huge fan of them. I'm probably going to get another pair. Yeah. Um, another well, set. they'll probably be at the Viber Expo. Yeah, and so imagine. I'll probably, I'm probably right going to pick up. Michigan. Yeah, I'm probably going to pick up some size fours. Get some of your, like, sevens. ones you use the most. Yeah, because I really enjoy knitting hats and cowls. They cowls. do have an interchange, uh, interchangeable set, too, but I really like the fixed ones. Yeah, they, they do have an interchangeable set. And, uh, oh, it's... <laughs> they've got that, um, the swivel cable Yes, too. they do, and that, that makes a big difference, and the cables really don't hold a memory, so... Oh, it's a really nice cable. It is a really, really nice cable. Yeah, I, so... I really like them. And it's just so cool. It's it's cool too because it's it's local for us. You know, it's in our yeah. state, and they're they're handcrafted. I just I think it's such a neat. But the join is thing. like seamless. If you yep. close if you close your eyes and you know run your finger over that needle, you can't tell where the join is. Even no. if you use your fingernail, the, your fingernail doesn't even hang up on the join. Yeah. So it's great, um, especially in uh, yarn that's got a you know not it doesn't have a lot of plies or th that isn't plied really tightly it's working great because this bfl is not plied tightly at all right you can and um you know that's it's not an issue but it, it with the with these needles it's especially nice because it doesn't pull those plies apart when you go to slide the stitches up the needle so um cool. but yeah the um uh, the actual mm. stitch marker i'm using I'm I'm just borrowing from you because I didn't happen to have any stitch markers on me. Yeah. Um, when I started this, but this is a little Michigan stitch marker. Where'd you get this? Linda. Linda in uh, Canada. She sent that oh. to us. She's the one who gave cool. us the um, Cormel. Well, it's a really nice stitch marker. I know, isn't that cute? <laughs> um, I think she said she got the charms at Bohemian Findings on Etsy. Was the name of the shop, oh, cool. if I recall. But yeah. I know I love those. She um she had get, sent me a couple of stitch markers and uh, so you can totally have them if you want because I got a couple of them and then um, right I've got a progress keeper too. Happy birthday to me! Yeah, yeah. Ethan's <laughs> birthday is October tenth, so it's that coming is up. So cool. So early early birthday present. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, I'm really happy with how this is knitting up. It's a learning experience for me because of working the short rows, and yeah. I can tell. Uh, working these short rows, I'm just gonna have to look it up every time I do it for the next 20 years or so. Um, <laughs> I still do. <laughs> I look them up every time. Yeah, but we were watching. Um, oh, who Very was Very Pink. It? Very Pink Knits. Very Pink Knits has an excellent tutorial. Yeah. Because you, st like you said, you still look up how to do I the do. short rows when you do it. Yeah. Uh, if, but if you if you don't remember them very well, or you're just starting out and you don't have a lot of experience, you know, you're kind of like me, uh, definitely check out Very Pink Knits and yeah. look at her tutorials. They're very, very nice yeah, she's and she's very ton. thorough. Um, she she shows you very closely how, how to knit the the, um, the stitches that you're looking for. She's got tutorials for everything, too. Yeah. She's got... Tons of stuff. Everything. Uh, right down to, I think, the basic knit and purl stitches. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. Give her a, yeah. a, a check out. Yes. Let's see. Um, is there anything else? Do you want to show the ball? Oh, show yeah. Show yeah, so this, I hand wound this ball during yeah. a fit of insomnia the other <laughs> I woke up and she was me this. I was like, when did you wind that? 
Okay, so this will go into life stuff, but uh, we just uh, we just bought a new truck, and I'll talk about it later. But it was the night before we were go to, going going to go pick up the new truck, and I just couldn't sleep because it's, so it's a funny. new truck, right? And so I went out and I walked. I went out for you know like a three four mile walk. I uh, had no idea. I slept through all of this. I it was this is like three in the morning. Um, listen to some music. Uh, so you know, funny. Um, Listen to an audiobook for a little while. I was also feeling sick the night before you too, were. so I was really, I was out. I was and, out. Uh, and I had just finished everything else um, <laughs> pretty much on my needles, except for that pair of socks that I'm working on, which that will be another year before yeah. I get those done. But <laughs> So I decided, I'm like, well, I should probably wind up. That's um, so funny. I should probably wind up the stuff for that cowl that I want to make. And then I remembered that I... Then I remembered that I didn't remember where any of the stuff was, and I didn't want to root around anywhere and wake you up yeah. trying to find the stuff. So I just decided to hand wind it, and man, it was, it was, you know. You're a good hand winder. I might always get way too tight. Well, this is and actually a trick. It's making sure it's not so tight. It's trying to focus on. There we go. So, it's so yeah, cool. that's that's what the the uh, colorway looks like wound up into a ball. It's a neat it little really camel colorway. It really does look colorway. like camel. Yeah, it, it turned out pretty well, I think. But I'm actually really enjoying knitting from this hand-wound ball. I actually, I haven't, it's I've only knit from cool. a hand, I've only knit from a hand-wound ball once when I first started out, and that was with like some cotton. Mm -hmm. um, but this is, it's been really nice. I, I enjoy it. I might hand-wind more balls. Yeah. Now. More balls of yarn. Yeah. Uh, but it's it's kind of a cool process it, you know we've got the the ball winder and uh the swift so we just never really do you know you just right. stick it stick the skein on there and crank it out um but this wasn't bad at all so cool yeah you did a really good job all right so what do you have um, i have yes. this is an old work in progress from my birthday which was back in may i have not shown it really since just after then um so this is the, I'm pronouncing it Sapila. She's been going back and forth I don't on know. this for like a week. I don't know. If anybody knows, let me know. But um, <laughs> I think it's Sipila, but. I don't know. I it think, might be. because we. I think it's it Sipila because we did look it up. Yeah, but I've heard both. So maybe I'll message but Caitlin Sipila Hunter. Sipila sounds better. It does sound cool. I'm sorry. I think it does. I think it sounds better. So this is what I'm working on. <laughs> <laughs> it's S-I-P-I-L-A. Um, so do with that what you will. But um, I love this so much. So, it's a really pretty sweater. Oh, I love it. So um, if you were following along from before, I had cast this on. Actually, I still have it because I'm going to use the leftover yarn when I join the sleeves because it'll be similar, um, similar color colorways yeah. at that point. This was when I cast it on before. And I did this totally wrong. So what I had wanted, I switched the colors, the main color and the contrasting color. So if you want the body to be gray, then you cast on with the contrasting color. So that was where I messed up. Um, so yeah. I had to rip it all out. Oh my god, it was so sad. It was so sad. <laughs> but totally worth it. I'm loving this. I'm, oh, so I'm just on the body now where you're just straight stocking up for so many inches. And it's super oversized and luscious. I love it so much. Um, I'm so excited to wear this. It's gonna be a nice lightweight. It's all fingering weight yarn. This is our yarn that we've dyed. Um, this is our orchid colorway and then the gray is our dove heather colorway. Or no, dove gray. Dove gray. Dove gray. Yeah, dove gray is that colorway. So yeah, I'm so excited for this. Um, the sleeves have a little bit of color work towards the bottom and um, I'm knitting it on size fours? Six? I think it says six. Yes, yeah, six. Four millimeter. <laughs> I can't see. I even have my glasses on. Um, but these are Knit Pick Sunstruck Needles. I'm loving these for this. Really, really happy with They're a with really it. good value. The I Knit Picks Needles them. really are. I really, truly love them. So I mean, they're not... Um, mine have really broken in, I feel right. like. They're really slick, and I... Like, you can I tell they're not, the, they're not the... They're not... They don't have that swivel. A, yeah, they're not on the I quality like. of, like, some of the top-end stuff. You know, Signature right. Needle Arts or... It's definitely not that, but they're definitely serviceable. They're they are great. not, yes. you know, I, they're I better than like the, the ones range. from like Joann's and stuff like the boy and stuff like that. You know, I like these a lot better. Oh yeah. Um, yep. I had a trouble when I, I used to use the boy needles and those joins were really bad. Um, you get yarn stuck on it all the time. Mm -hmm. So, um, I love their DPNs though. Definitely. I love them. I have no problems with those at all. Um, so yeah, my other work in progress 
is your socks <laughs> for your birthday. The reason <laughs> she's laughing. That you're not supposed to know about. <laughs> yeah, it was a couple of podcasts back, I think. Yeah. I was like... She wasn't going to show them because she didn't think that I knew what they were, even though she knits them around me all the time. I thought but, I was being stealthy, and I wasn't. <laughs> so that's pretty funny. So, um, I... Oh, I should have shown this in, uh... This is part of finished objects. I have a half finished object. Um, so I worked these toe up, and these are, uh, the Gryffindor colorway from Mint Rain Hand Dyed Yarns. And... Um, I did a waist yarn afterthought heel, and so this is my first afterthought heel, and I'm super happy with it. Um, I actually had him try it on because I was like, I'm not going to knit this whole heel and then do another one and then to find out on your birthday that it doesn't fit. So it fit great. It works great. Yeah. Because I have really weird heels, like they, 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 just kinda... they come down, Is you know, a heel is supposed to come out and around, but mine is really pronounced. Like, yeah. Like, I, it, it looks kind of like, you ever seen so a bird's well. end, back talon? Like, it's kind of like that, you know, it just kind of like my... Basically. My actually, <laughs> my foot kind of, or my leg kind of comes down to the middle of my foot sort of, sort of deal there, but... Bird feet. <laughs> <laughs> so a heel flap and gusset actually doesn't work um, the best for me. It's just funny because you do not have bird feet at all. No, I don't. They're huge. They're, <laughs> They're like... Ginormous. Yeah. See? Like, <laughs> it's just insane. There's a lot of knitting. Um... So this is the other one. So you can see how I did toe up and then put in the waist yarn. I've just put um, the stitches on the needles and I've knit a couple of rows. And so I'm starting on the decreases for for the heel. So and um, the pattern that I used to kind of guide me on that, um, I really, really, really liked uh, Rachel of Treehouse Knits. She did a tutorial, which we met her at the Fiber Festival. And she... Oh my gosh, she did such a great job on that. Um, hers, I think, though, is a cut-in one. But as far as, um, like, how to place the stitches and, like, I don't know. I just, I really, really liked her pattern. She's also got, um, I know a lot of people, like, were posting on different tutorials that nobody shows you how to actually knit the, when they say you knit it just like a toe, um, they don't tell you, like, where to do your, your decreases or, or not. Because some toes will say do them, like knit so much then do it kind of like every other but then don't do it every other for this while so basically what you do with this is you literally knit it uh a decrease round a knit round a decrease knit every other like until and 24 so it goes stitches really quick it does it goes really fast and she's got a pdf for free on ravelry and then it shows you how to knit it there and every so, single sock that I ever knit will have this heel yes. from now on. Oh yeah, totally. I, I can't wait to make some for myself and try it to see how it fits my heel because I really like it a lot um, for, for knitting wise. Like it's so easy to knit. You don't have to think about it. But yeah, um, I don't remember the name of the actual pattern. I'll link it in the show notes. But um, it's if you go to her video, she talks about that. So um, if anybody's like hung up on how to actually knit the heel which is where I was at because the toes that I've done in the past they weren't just all, every other row right so that was my hang up um but then once I checked out her pdf awesome so she she really had a nice pdf for that and like I said it's free so yeah really happy with that um I've got I forgot to show my little progress keeper it's my <laughs> little head wig and he's so cute because you know Harry Potter socks gotta have head wig and that's from Sugar oh, yeah. Tots on Etsy and let's see, um, that is it for works in progress. Next we'll go on to some spinning. So for spinning this week, I am so excited that I got a spinning project going again. I've been meaning to do it and I uh, just have not been doing it. So I'm really, really happy. Um, first I will show you, it's a little bat and um, it's from Winding Wool Creek Fiber Mill and they are I believe they're here in Michigan. Uh, I got it at the Michigan Fiber Festival, but I don't recall if they were actually in Michigan or not. Um, they might be in the surrounding states, but um, I'm so excited. So this, I don't even think it had a colorway name, but this is part of it. Um, so I've got it kind of um, divided. And I, oh, it's so autumnal. Like it that's why I started fall. it. And it's only two ounces. It's a small little bat. And oh, I love it so much. So, um, what I've spun up so far is this, and it's just so pretty. So I think it's got a little bit of sparkle in it too. I think I'm going to apply it with either a brown or a white, um, like a cream or something, 
and uh, just to get some more yardage out of it. So, I'm so excited. So, um, yeah, <laughs> Miss Ella is up here with us now. <laughs> so she's walking she, around. Oh, she is, but she really wants to get on the bed, but we've got like the whole podcast stuff exploded all over and so she's like putting her little chin on the bed like please let me up <laughs> there's like no room <laughs> um but it's really cute um so yeah that is um that's it for my spinning i'm oh i did want to mention how i decided to divide up the bat was i was watching uh grace shalom hopkins is her name on youtube and she puts out a ton of spinning videos. And she showed how she, it was a recent video on how she spins from a bat. And um, it's just the music, like she's just got music to it. It's just the video. Um, she doesn't talk through it, but it was really cool. So I just watched how she divided it up. She did it like in a ton of different ways, um, like into quarters and divided it up into like, there was a couple like different little strips. There was one um, where you did, you know, just straight, straight in half like this and you'll just go right across. Um, and I don't know. It's just really cool. So I'm really, really excited to try that to see how that is. I'm doing um, a short backward draw on it and because um, it is a, a wool, um, oh my goodness, a woolen prep is the only thing I can think of, like carded prep. Carded drum? Yeah, because it's done on a drum carter. And um, I don't know why I'm like asking you for verification, <laughs> but yeah, I do think totally. you should learn to spin though. I do think you should. Yeah. It'd be so cool. But um, yes, it's a woolen prep. <laughs> it's a woolen and worsted prep. Um, but yeah, so I'm really, really excited about that, and um, I, I have no idea what I'm going to make out of it. I'm not even really freaking out about it being super even, um, because with the carded prep, you get, um, you're going to get a lot more lumps and bumps and things like that, so I'm so excited. It's going to look really hands funny. Yeah, definitely. So yeah, that's it for spinning. Next, we'll go on to acquisitions. All right, so next up is acquisitions. And since we haven't podcasted in two weeks... We've um, got some acquisitions. We've got some stuff to show. And there was something I meant to show on the podcast from two weeks ago that I didn't show. So, I've got a bit. And at the beginning of the podcast. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. So there's a lot going on. Um, so, this one was one that I meant to show two weeks ago. Um, this is a skein of coloring book yarns and this is the autumn and mint colorway oh my lord i love this stuff i had seen this like, you have gotten so lucky with coloring book I know, yarns i know i really have gotten lucky um, for those of you that don't know she doesn't dye very often no and when she does dye yarn if you quick. see it in stock, buy it mm -hmm. immediately. Because it will be think, gone. Don't debate. Just put it just in your it. cart and buy it. Because <laughs> if it's in your cart for longer than about two minutes, someone it's else gone. is going to yeah. buy it. But and luckily, you haven't. I don't think you've gotten card jacked, mm -mm. have you? No, nope, I've been very, very lucky. Um, I got a. The first time I ordered from her it was a custom order. I just, I just messaged her to see why not. You know what I mean? To see if she would be willing to do it. Um, and she was, which was super cool. And I had asked for either the autumn and mint colorway or the sweet tooth colorway. I think is the other one that mm -hmm. was the first one I got. And she said she was doing up the sweet tooth one. So that was the one I said, you know, take your time. I was like, it can be six months from now. I don't care. You know, I just want to, you, you just know. want to make sure you got it. Yeah, exactly. So, and it was, did not take six months. It was only like a couple weeks and it was done. Um, so that was the first one I got. And then there was the Be Mine colorway, which was her Valentine's one. That was, um, I think it was after Valentine's Day that she had posted it, but I just happened to go on her site and it was there and I just, I snagged it. And then the other day, I happened to go on there again because this is one of the ones that I still really wanted, um, but I just, I didn't want to bother her with asking for a custom order again, so I right. just was kind of waiting. Um, and I went on there and it was there and I just, okay. So those I think are the... So what color is that again? Autumn and Mint. Autumn and Mint. Yeah, and um... It's really pretty. I know, I love it. So it's all self-striping yarn that she does, and I'm just so excited. That was like the last one that I really, really wanted. So I feel like I've got my nice little three skein collection, and I'm very, very happy. Mm -hmm. um, so I was really, really excited to get that. So yeah, that's Coloring Book Yarns. She's on Etsy. Um, and then we were given... Oh my goodness, so many sweet things. We were given... Um, a pattern. This is also going to be a prize. Um, we're going to do it for the My Favorite Colors October Cal. This is going to be a prize. It is the Chestnut Street Socks by Lindsay Goodall, who is Simply Serving. And um, she's on Etsy. You've seen um, her stuff on our podcast because she makes these super, super cute. She's so talented. Oh my word. Super cute little charms. And we've got some more to show you guys. And um, she made these little DPN cozies for us. And 
She's literally the sweetest person she is. on the planet. You, I, so sweet. It's, it's I unbelievable. Love her. <laughs> it really is. And so she she wanted to send us these socks um, to, for to, to keep and to give away. And they're so, so cool looking. They are. They, they're really cool. So I don't know if you can see on the screen, but what it is is it's just like a nice little vanilla sock. But then there's just this little strip down the side of each sock where it's like a little garter panel. And it's really cute. Yeah. That's it's awesome. Super cute. So yeah, I'm really looking forward to knitting those up because they just look like they'll be nice, like just you know, nice as vanilla, but then you have just a little bit of interest in it. So, exactly. Yes, I love that. Um, Something to break up the long monotonous uh, knitting yes. rows. She also sent us um, so cute. Now I think this one. Oh yeah. Oh my gosh, I love these so much. So she sent me these <laughs> these lumberjill mitten pattern this has to happen. oh my gosh i am dying to cast these on isn't that cool oh i need to i that should be my uh my uh, uh my favorite colors october cal that project would be awesome so i really really want to knit those oh and that's in worsted <gasps> okay that's happening that's happening. i was thinking they were about yeah. fingering me oh my that's gosh cool. that's definitely happening like those very would actually soon. go with my is there my size on that let me see uh, See if they list orangutan. No, it's okay. a ladies one. <laughs> the orangutan size. <laughs> um, it's ladies small, ladies medium, large. We could probably adapt it though. Easy yeah, peasy. Maybe. Because you can just make you can just uh use that stitch pattern, you know what I mean, on a regular pair of mittens. Definitely. Oh my god. Oh my gosh. It's so Because I wear a um orangutan size. <laughs> I wear <laughs> I wear a Woolrich classic hunt coat. Um, oh, in yeah. the winter and it's kind of it's the same sort of pattern it's like a buffalo plaid and it's the warmest coat you mm -hmm. ever come across the thing weighs probably 50 pounds when you put it on you feel like you're wearing uh you feel like you're wearing a suit of armor pretty much because it's so thick and it's you know wool and you know old school wool coat it's it's the best coat ever yeah it's and it's those would go with heavy. it but uh we've got one more um pattern that was given to us for a giveaway and I just want to bring it up so we can show it. Yeah, definitely. Let's see here. But yeah, I, I really enjoy having that. We I had just gotten the Woolridge coat last year. We found it on clearance at Jay's Yeah, that was a up steal, clear. It man. was a steal. Normally these coats run between three hundred, four hundred dollars and we found this one for a hundred and twenty five dollars on clearance and they happen to have my size it was everything lined up and normally uh, and I mentioned this before normally I have a problem with things that fit around and long um, it, it I require a tall uh, but sometimes that doesn't even fit me because my my arms are like longer than they should be for my body <laughs> like two inches longer than they should be for my body so what ends up happening is it coats flannels anything like that they tend to the sleeves tend to come up to like right yeah. there on me and so i wear my sleeves on my flannels rolled up quite a bit yeah um yeah th <laughs> this coat problem. they make it a little bit extra long so yeah it's, it's perfect i'll never get rid of it i'll keep patching it up oh yeah it's so amazing um one of the other patterns that we were also given as a giveaway so this will also be for the my favorite color is october cal is the um it's the fallen leaves cowl and it's by fibery star is her username on um on ravelry and it's esther who's at star fiber studios and oh my gosh it's so beautiful so this is, is a fingering weight i believe and it's just a really pretty so kind of come down into a point mm -hmm. yes it is fingering weight on a us4 it's nice and drapey and yeah, it's just, oh, it's so beautiful. So thank you, Esther, for sending us yeah, that. Yeah, thank you. We are so appreciative and we cannot wait. Um, it's just Fallen Leaves, you know, it's the perfect name for that. Another it one, is. So um, let's see here. What else do we have? Um, oh, yeah. So Lindsay, Lindsay from Simply Serving sent us a sweet little gift package. It's so cool, guys. So we were talking on the podcast a couple of weeks ago, and um, we just had mentioned in passing how your uh, cozy didn't fit your DPNs. That I was using at right. the time. Yep, yeah, exactly. Yeah, I'm still getting, I, like, I still use the cozy. Exactly. Um, it, it just, for the needles that he was using, it didn't work for, it. we we used the one that was sent for um, circulars. Yes. Yeah. Yep. So, but he's got these um, 
really long uh, eight inch, right? Eight yeah, inch uh, yeah, DPS. Eight inch high high sharps. Right. Yeah. That I use for my socks. Because generally for sock knitting, it's standard size is like a six inch. Yeah. So, but, um, you know. Yeah. <laughs> rang a ten hands. <laughs> so um, she was so sweet and wrote to us and said that she wanted to make one for him that would fit his his needles and sh and she sent that to us. So that was so sweet, Lindsay. You did not have to do that. Yeah. So so sweet. Well, we are appreciative. Oh my gosh, it's so cool. So she made uh, a pretty much a duplicate of the original one that I had gotten sent, only in an eight inch. Yeah. Uh, and it works oh, so cool. phenomenally. It's uh, Hunter's Orange on one side, and then Real Tree APG. It looks like APG. I'd have to take a look. It's Real Tree anyway. Um, on this side and on the inside, it's all Hunter's Orange. Yeah. Oh yeah, and. She's got her logo in there, which is pretty nice. So, yeah, this is really cool. I can use these for my 8-inch uh, needles, which yeah. is, it's really neat because you generally, I feel like you don't see 8-inch cozies a whole lot. No, you don't. Um, and, it, and we were, um, we were discussing that the old needles, like, well, the ones you get from, like, Boy, Susan yep. Bates, those ones um, generally are 8-inch ones, which I didn't realize, and so I actually... I went on Lindsay's site and because she had messaged me, she said, "Oh, do you use eight inch?" I was like, "No, no, mine are just uh, six inch ones." You know, not thinking. <laughs> and then I went to use one of her cozies in my um, in my uh, old needles that I had, and it didn't fit. And so I was like, "So I went on her site and I, I bought I bought a um, a cozy." So I'm really excited. Oh, it yeah. is so cute. So I can't wait to get that. It's so so cute. It's purple and pink and mm -hmm. oh my gosh. I'm excited. So this is I the, thought it was funny. This is the other cozy that I got. So you and it is so cool. We got some uh pine trees in the middle. Awesome. Uh, and buffalo plaid on the sides and then there's the stitching. I love that stitch. Oh it's so cool. It is really it cool. It is so cool. It just fits so well and especially the pine with the buffalo plaid, mm -hmm. that red and green, you know. I just, oh, it's so cool. And it's going to work great for Christmas too, yes. right? I mean, red and green. And then on the inside, try and do this without dropping any stitches. On the inside, there's like a wood pattern. Like oh, a wood grain so cool. pattern, sort of. And how neat is that? She does such a phenomenal job on she these. She does. And she has more 9-inch um, DPN cozies in her shop of different fabrics. So if you do have some larger DPNs or some of the older ones like I was talking about, Mm -hmm. Go check them out because I don't think it's very common to find the nine inch DPN cozies. I don't, we didn't, we were actually at the Fiber Festival and we didn't see a lot of them. No, either. we didn't. Um, the Michigan Fiber Festival. And yeah, I mean, I'm going to get some, I'm going to get a hold of some six inch uh, DPN cozies. And actually, I think these will probably still work with six inch DPN cozies as well. Yeah. Just looking at where the buttons are placed. Yeah, because um, you've got, I think you've got this one in your bag too of the six inch. Yeah, I one. do. I do have a six inch one. Let's see if I can pull this one out. Yep. Yeah. So this is the oh, six inch version. It's so and cool. So I'm all set up. I you mean, are. thanks to Lindsay. <laughs> Thank you, Lindsay. Yeah, she's so sweet. She is so sweet. So yeah, I'm really excited about those. They I'm really excited. I've also um I also got a cute little Halloween charm from her too. It's so cute. It's I awesome. Wait. I can't wait. So so with that, she also sent us some um some goodies. She said, um, you know, use some of these for uh, for a giveaway. She sent. She's like, I got these little prize packets. She sent some teas for us. So cute, salty Stuff charm. So good. It is so good. And then she said, we've got some um, more little charms that we can try out and try out different clasps and stuff. So thank you so much, Lindsay. Super it's sweet. Truly generous. So these are just killing me. Oh my god, they're so cute. I cannot wait to use these. <laughs> oh, I can't handle it. Okay, I'm gonna take this out of the bag because yeah. it's so darling. I just need to show Let's it. See if I can... So, this is a little red squirrel, and he's like totally flying, and it's adorable. And he's got little buck teeth, just like the little, um, just beaver. like the little beaver she sent me. I can't handle this. The little animals are killing me. I they love are awesome. them. Awesome. I love them. So she's got this little guy in her shop. She's also got a raccoon. Um, she's got so many other ones. There's the the buck. There's um, oh gosh, what else is there? I know there's a ton of different ones, the but they're so cute. Yeah, the, the bear. bear on there? I don't know if it's still in there or not right now, but she did have a bear. And um, she also sent. That's another thing I like is black bear stuff. Mm -hmm. You know. Yeah. 
She, I feel like she knows this so well. And she sent me a black bear stitch marker as well earlier. And we've shown this on the podcast before, but. He's so cute. I never get tired of showing it. Nope. He's adorable. So, or progress keeper anyway. So yeah, there's the black bear. And what's cool about Lindsay's shop is when you order, you can pick which kind of uh, clasp you want on it. Yeah, that's really So you really can either cool. do the lobster clasp or you can do like those earring back ones. Mm -hmm. It's really neat. Or you can do it in stitch marker form. Um, this is a little sugar plum. And, oh, it's just so cute. And I just love the little glitter on the bottom. So she's got, I think, this and a sugared peach in her shop. It's just so, so precious. And then, oh, I love this. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my gosh. <laughs> so this is a little pumpkin pie. And then it's got a little, like, I'm, I'm going to say it's a pumpkin spice latte because, you know, it's got to be. <laughs> but um, it's just a little a little teacup with a beverage of some sort. But it's got, it's got the little cinnamon in there. Oh, my gosh. Her attention to detail is amazing. It is incredible. Because if you look oh, underneath, that. Um, you know, the, it's just... You can see how it's glazed and everything. Yeah, it's amazing. It's I, beautiful. It, her attention to detail is so good that you have to pull out a magnifying glass to actually see all of the details she puts into these things. These are amazing. So I was looking at it, and sometimes Love you'll it. look at it, at these stitch markers, and then um, or progress keepers, whatever you're using them for, and you won't notice a detail. And then you look at it again really close. You go, wow, I never saw that. And you just keep noticing. Yeah. You just keep noticing these little details that she put into these. Uh, stitch markers so yeah it's amazing so you should show off that one yeah this one, this one is kind of along the same lines this is a coffee and a s'more stitch marker and it's it's really too bad I can't show it on camera how detailed this is but there's um, you can see the coffee in there <laughs> and the the s'more she dimpled the uh, the graham cracker so it actually has like the dimples and that she even put a little score for the graham cracker underneath you can see where she left this white exactly like the bottom of a saucer would be yeah um the the glaze around the edge of the cup is exactly how the glaze around the edge of a cup looks yeah so oh, so good i also got caramel apple which are like my favorite things in the world it's so good who doesn't like caramel it's apples, that right? Season. I feel like every time we go to the grocery store, oh, we just grab a pack. And this of them. is along the same lines. I mean, you look at just the the attention to detail there, and the caramel, yeah, is kind of glittery. It's got a little bit of glitter in there, and you can kind of see like if you were to set a caramel apple down on a sheet of wax paper, you've got that little bit of apple that sort of protrudes through the bottom where everything drains around it, and you still got that little shallow spot in yep. the bottom. And she, she's got that in there. It's it's really incredible. You can kind of see that green spot in there. So cool. And that's it's, with the le the lever back, right? Yes. Yep. So yep. that's got the other. Yeah. So the other is option. lever back, and then um, the bear has the the lobster. Yeah, I've got the lobster well. clasp oh, okay. too. Yep. So there's so the lobster clasp. Yeah. So you got different options, and then there's and a then stitch there's marker option, which I don't think we've. No. But yeah, but it's just like a regular stitch marker. So. And then. Yeah. Oh. I love this. It's so cool. It's a little buck. Oh, this, this one is cute. Oh my gosh. I just, right, I want to die. It's so cute. Oh, Come on, focus. There we go. So this is a little buck. Oh and it's even got his little white tail I there. I can't handle that one. Oh. Yeah, how awesome is that? little antlers it's so cute and that one it said on her sh um, shop was a very popular one. Oh, cool so it's yeah. an awesome awesome it's really cute uh, stitch marker knitting uh, uh, progress, progress keeper, keeper yeah. yeah oh it's so cute that is so awesome I'm just blown away by the level of detail on these yes. things. yes and your generosity Lindsay yeah oh, my absolutely word. and the generosity so generous um so she also sent some prize packs so so excited um so she sent she sent a little DPN cozy, which I thought was too cute. I love how she quilts these. I know. And I just think they're so cute. And then on the inside, it's got purple. So it's a very fall autumnal um, DPN cozy. And so this would be for the six inch needles. 
Mm -hmm. And then she also sent three. <laughs> three little packs of um, the Progress Keepers. So first one are these really, really cute, um, these super, super cute uh, leaves. And they kind of have like a, like a metallic glaze on they're them. Really oh, cool. They're really, really pretty. And then oh, I, love these. I love the faces. Like the faces, just, <laughs> oh, they kill me. So these are, I believe it's a little radish and then a, um, a little carrot with little faces. Oh my gosh. I love it, little garden guys. And then, um, <laughs> did you just do this? Oh, that's awesome. <laughs> So we got a little skull with a mustache and then a little ghost cookie, which the ghost cookie kind of looks like the one I just bought. Um, it's really, so it's that shape, but then it's got like a little candy and a candy corn on it. That's like so a little cool. lollipop. And oh. Yeah, she puts a ton of work into this stuff. Seriously. Is somebody playing the drums? Yeah. <laughs> it's our new neighbor. <laughs> That's so funny. Our new neighbor. We can't get a break on the ambient noise That's today. That's so funny. But I didn't notice the, that. Uh, <sighs> how cool is that little box? That we got. And oh, it says so simply cute. serving and then it says handmade littles on the Yeah, bottom, and so. she decorated it for uh, like fall and everything, which That's I so thought cool. was really cute. So, yes, that is our goodies from the lovely Lindsay. So, yeah, you can find her on Instagram as simply serving and you can also find her on Etsy as simply serving. So, yeah, definitely go check her out. She is the sweetest human being ever. And she's just wonderful. So we're very, very happy that we have you as a friend, Lindsay. We love you. Yes. So let's see. What else do we have to show here? Oh, I won a giveaway on Instagram. Yeah. I was so cool is that? excited about this. Um. Oh, my gosh. I just couldn't handle it. So. Okay. So, so less ambient noise now yes, because we, uh, we shut the, the window. window. <laughs> so hopefully that wasn't too bad. We're yeah, sorry. Our neighbor really is bad. rocking out. So. Yes. Rock Although on, we brother. can't talk though, it's we used to play the bagpipes, so. Oh, I'm not, <laughs> I don't worry at all. My thing is, I don't care how much noise you make between the hours of like 7 a.m. and 11 yeah. p.m. After that, just, you know, shut up. But yeah. if it's between 11, 11 p.m. and 7 a.m. and he does, he's pretty quiet. So, yeah. uh, no issues there. Because Lord knows my power tools outside work out. Oh the yeah, for sure. Long enough. I yeah. got no room to talk. And, and like I said, when we were learning the bagpipes. And our dogs was, are loud. Oh, yeah. yeah so. Oh, yeah. So, the giveaway that I won. We should do a video um, playing the bagpipes. Yes, we should. We've still got your pipes. We do. But I think that's the only set we've got, though, isn't it? Do we have another one? We'll hand them off back and forth. <gasps> Somebody's got to hold the camera. Okay. We can do panning, all artistic-like. Deal. Yeah. All right. We should get anyway. a drone. <laughs> <laughs> Drones scare me. All right. So, the giveaway that I won... Um, is from Wild in the Woods on Instagram. And oh my gosh. This the presentation it's of this is she amazing. She killed it. Just killed Absolutely. it. Absolutely. We should have had I remembered or had I thought of it, had I known how awesome it was gonna be to open all that stuff, we would have done an unboxing. Oh on totally. The I don't know if I could have waited though. I was really, really yeah. excited to get this. Um and that was last Saturday <laughs> when I got it. So mm -hmm. um Oh my word. So it was just amazing. She, I just entered the giveaway, you know, like, okay, well, sure. You know what? I entered it. And then, um, I got tagged that I had won. And so you got to pick between like a full, there was like a bath collection that she had. And then she had like a sea salt bath and yarn. So I was like, Oh, I really want to try. She had some, um, naturally dyed yarn. So that was the one that I picked. And, um, first of all, this is her tag on her yarn. And it's just so cute. Her whole Instagram follows this whole aesthetic. It's adorable and perfect and cute. So you and, know, like, right off the bat, we're going to like it. Oh, yeah. It's just amazing. So this is um, naturally dyed, and it is 100%, it's just 100 Canadian wool. Um, it doesn't say uh, specific breeds or anything, but it's very... It's a one-ply, um, and it's very, it's, very I don't think it's rustic. merino, that's for sure. It's right. Very... It's, it's rustic and perfect in every way. Yeah. Like, it's... But it's not, like so scratchy either like it's just oh, it's just wonderful no. so it, I love it it kind of feels like a single ply lopey mm -hmm. sort of you know yeah and it's just but 